Welcome Sean via satellite from Washington. Hello? Sean? Hello? Sean, can you can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hello, Corey. Hey, Sean. Uh, welcome to Wizard vs. Tree. Hey, thanks for having me. It's great to be here. So, you're going to be doing a segment this week in Washington. Interview first. I thought that would be cool. Sure thing, man. No problem. Let's do this interview. It'd be kind of fun. Alright, so you arrived. How was your trip? Yeah, I actually had a pretty... It was a pretty fun trip. I got to see a lot of California that I've never seen before. Uh huh. Um, and a lot of in Oregon. I've never been to Oregon and Washington. It was a really cool trip. Um, I got up here. Let's see. I got up here last Wednesday. Okay. Yeah, last Wednesday. Right. Had a little bit of an issue when I got here. The management company of the apartment place was not here because uh -oh. they were at a, uh, a mandatory meeting. For everybody, all staff, and everybody who works here, mm -hmm. so I wasn't able to um, to move in. That sucks. So I had to stay <laughs> at a motel again here in Washington. You know, it didn't make things any easier. But right. the next day, Thursday, I got all my stuff into the apartment, mm -hmm. moved in, and set up the place so I can live here. Oh, all right. Uh, and the uh, and as, as far as the first day goes, the first right. day of school, which took place the following Tuesday, um, it was a very interesting first day. It um, started off with us listening to a ska song called Martian Girl by the Aquabats. All right. Now, I've heard the song before. I really uh -huh. liked it. But at 7 o'clock in the morning, my brain was kind of wandering while we were listening to it. <laughs> right. Then the next thing one of the instructors did was pass out a piece of paper that was a quiz on the uh -huh. song, and we had to just fill out the answers. And I was like, uh, I can only answer like a couple of them because I, I just remember the stuff from the uh, from the chorus, but I couldn't remember some of the other stuff. But um, and so then we got to listen to it again and fill it out again. It was a very interesting exercise. And mm -hmm. then the next thing we got to do was we um, were passed out a piece of paper where one is by the other instructor, and he said, "Okay, close your eyes." And so we all close our eyes, and he said, okay, fold the paper. Okay. So we all, I folded the paper, and then he said, okay, now fold it again. So folded it again. Then he said, okay, tear off a corner. Mm -hmm. So we tore off a corner. And then he said, okay, fold it again, and then tear off another corner. Okay. And we're like, okay. And so he said, okay, now open your eyes and unfold your paper. And we all unfolded our papers, and we all had different, uh, different, Designed like some people, like one person only had the hole right in the middle of the paper, nothing around the edges. Mm -hmm. I had the hole, but with two things cut out of the side. There were just all sorts of variations because everybody has a different way of doing things. Right. Um, oh, cool. And then the really fun exercise we got to do was we were all passed out little boxes of Legos. <laughs> nice. And we were with a partner. We were the way they set us up was you know we all had assigned seats. They set us in. They had us you know place where they wanted us to sit. And we uh, were all passed out these little boxes of Legos, and we got to. Um, we were told, okay, your the object of the of the exercise is to finish mm -hmm. building your Legos. Right. And so we're like, okay. Um, we said, yeah, and the first two groups done, we'll win. We're like, oh, cool, let's try to win. Right. You know, because who knows what'll happen. But uh -huh. um, so then we, me and my partner, were trying to build build this thing. We're looking at the picture, like, I mean. I mean, we can see what it's supposed to look like, but it's, you know, when you got a box of like a like hundred Legos or so, and they're supposed to turn into this object, mm -hmm. we were just like, okay, how does this, because the way the picture was, it's really hard to tell mm -hmm. how much there is. It's just, you know, it's pretty hard to do. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, one group, like in the back, is like, oh, we're done. And we're like, what the heck, how'd they finish already? Right. And then a group up front finished about maybe 10 minutes later, or maybe five minutes later, I remember how long it was, and we're like, what the heck? And then he's like, you know, those of you in the middle row would have been helpful if you had this, and you pulled out the instruction book. Oh. The people in the back row had the instructions to, ha okay. to how to build the, the object. We all had the same object except for one group that had a different different uh, thing to build. And then the group in the first row had no instructions. So okay. that, their concept was just whatever they could come up with, basically. Right. And so it was very interesting, but then we went over some basic stuff, and just, you know, it was pretty fun. It was, it was pretty fun already. And how are classes going so far? Well, the classes really haven't started yet. Um, it um, what we've done is every day since this 
last Tuesday has mm -hmm. been just uh, going over basic stuff. We did, however, on Thursday, was it Thursday? I think, I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Uh, we actually got to um, take apart and put back together clarinets and saxophones. Nice. Clarinet was pretty easy for me because I, I do it all the time when I, you know, uh, work on my clarinet. I've, I've worked on other clarinets working at the middle school. Right. But I've never taken apart a saxophone, and I tell you, that's going to take a little more practice for me to get mm -hmm. down the whole um, getting it back together in a quick manner because in this industry speed really is a very important thing but he said at right. this point we shouldn't be focusing on speed oh, okay. we should be focusing on accuracy because speed will come with practice of accuracy but makes sense you know, he said by the time we're done with this program we'll be able to take a part of sax one in five minutes and put it back together in ten wow <laughs> now that that'll be a pretty awesome goal because it's there's a lot of parts of the saxophone that are just it's 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 easy when you look at the clarinet because you have two halves mm -hmm. and you can work on a half at a time but with the saxophone it's all just one big part and everything just has to go together but I did get it back together and it came out pretty good and you know so it works nice um, and one of the instructors noticed that I did clarinet really quickly so he gave me a challenge clarinet. Challenge. And the reason why it was a challenge is because it was an, it's like an Italian student model clarinet called uh -huh. Masio, but it's built a little differently than our standard clarinets are. They have different uh, mechanics to it. Right. It even had a closed thumb hole of, on the thumb for you know new clarinet players, and also had a half hole key, which was really weird to me. I was like, yeah, that. No, it's just a half hole. The only instrument you really see a half hole on is an oboe. Okay. Some bassoons have it, but I know this is really just complicated stuff at this point. For anybody who's not doesn't know much about music, um, so he gave me that to work on, and that cool. was pretty fun to take that thing apart and put it back together. Nice. Um, yeah. Uh, so you and I have found some interesting restaurants in our area. Have you found any? Actually, I haven't really had too much time. I haven't even made it in Seattle yet. Um, okay. Just you know, I mean, that's one of the things I'd like to do pretty soon is to see Seattle, see a lot of the cities around here on the weekends when I can. Right. But uh, as far as eating places, I did go to this really cool barbecue the other the other night, and uh -huh. I don't remember what it was called, but I had a pretty good some good chicken and some good um, good beans and corn. It was pretty good, and they had three types of sauces you could get. You know, nice. Like, like mild, you know hot and like I like the, I got the hottest one and uh -huh. I have a pretty good tolerance when it comes to spicy food right. I will say that that hot sauce was pretty hot, hot. I mean it didn't, it didn't affect me too much I mean I, I, it was really good but it, was, it definitely had a good kick to it I really enjoyed it so hopefully I'll be able to update everybody on some really good eateries up here while I'm uh, up here. We're looking forward to it. Sean you're a big fan of both Disney and Marvel I was curious about Disney owning Marvel yeah, your take on I it. Yeah, I am a big fan of both Disney and Marvel. Uh huh. And I, I could really care less about Disney owning Marvel. I mean, Disney wants to own everything. R right. Um, I guess it'll make. I mean, you look, you go to Universal Studios, they have all DC stuff. Now, mm -hmm. I guess you, maybe you go to Disney and you'll see all more a lot of Marvel stuff there. Now that'd be cool. But I really don't know what the heck this has to do uh with uh, being up here in Washington. Uh, well. Sean, I'm sorry about the last question. Hey, don't worry about it. It's all right. I just thought that it was a good ca question to ask you. No, it was. It, it just has nothing to do with Washington. I, I know it has nothing to do with... And I thought my segment was This Week in Washington, not popular culture merger and buyouts. No, your just, segment is about Washington, but this is not your segment. This is an interview. Oh, okay. I got it. Right, but we're out of time. Go figure. Uh, but thank you so much for taking the time to do this, and I look forward to seeing your segment. Hey, no problem, man. Uh, I'll be checking in with everybody at Wizard vs. Tree once a week and letting everybody know what's going on up here. Awesome. Take care. Yeah, you too. Uh, uh, Sean, thank you so much once again. I guess, uh, guess he's gone. Sean, Sean, you there? Sean! No, he's gone. Uh, so, we'll be checking in with Sean. Uh, there's going to be a new segment probably every week. A uh, little minute segment scene. What Sean is up to in Washington. Alright, folks. You take care now. We'll see you again.